All right, so this video is probably a bit late and my hair looks awful. It is in the awkward stage for sure. Can't do anything about it. Fuck you. So, Valentine's Day. Uh, two things that you should get for your girl. Flowers and good dick, okay? Anything else is extra. Uh, and a lot of times, guys will compensate for a bad relationship with a lot of gifts, right? Now, if you got lots of money to spend, okay, fuck it, you can get her whatever you want, okay? Um, obviously, if you've been together for a long time, if the relationship's a bit newer, then you really should definitely keep it to flowers and good dick. If it's been going, you know, for like six months plus, okay, you know, you can do what you want. A dinner is also really nice, um, but you really don't need to go beyond flowers and good dick. And the reasoning is pretty simple. First of all, flowers, girls just love flowers, okay? Um, and it's very, you know, 40, 50 bucks. It's not that big of a deal. And then a dinner, okay, you're gonna spend like, you know, 100 bucks. Um, that's not too much. But if you're ever thinking that you have to go above and beyond, then you're not understanding what girls actually want, okay? And the best way for you to understand what women want, if you don't have any experience, right, um, is just to look at your failures. And also we can look at things like romance novels, okay? Um, without obviously the dramatic, you know, I'm a billionaire, right? That's not the important part of those stories actually. But if you look at your failures, right, if you don't have any successes, what you'll see is a lot of times with your failures with women is that the things that you originally thought women wanted aren't actually what they want. Yes, do women want loyalty? Do women want a man who is nice? Do Yes, they actually do. But the thing is, if you only offer those things without the things that also make her pussy wet, then you're going to see you get rejected. And then you're going to think, oh, it's because I was nice. Or, oh, it's because I'm loyal. And women just want men who treat them like shit. That's not true. It's just that the men who treated them like shit, they made them have like, you know, I almost said pussy secretions, and then I realized how fucking disgusting of a fucking sentence fragment that is, okay? It makes their pussy, you know, tingle. Um, it makes them excited. It makes them get butterflies in their stomach, okay? And <laughs> pussy secretions, Jesus Christ, Hector. So, those men who you think treat them like shit, right? The ones who don't get them something on Valentine's Day, you know, the ones who um, don't text them back as soon as they want, the ones who you know, aren't going all out to prove their love and blah, blah, blah. Why are women going after guys like that, okay? So you look at your failures and their successes because you don't have any success. Because if you have success, you already know what I'm saying is true and you'd be like, yep, good reminder, Hector, good dick and flowers, right? But if you don't understand, then you need to look at what actually works. But you have to see it correctly because if you see it incorrectly, you think, oh, women just like men who treat them like shit, okay? Right, because then you look at your past, you're like, oh my god, I treated her so good, I got her all this stuff on Valentine's Day and it was fine, and then, you know, she cheated on me, whatever. Um, it's the fact that these men make her excited. Butterflies in her stomach. And what makes butterflies in her stomach? A guy who gets her wet. And what's, what's a guy who gets her wet? Usually a guy who doesn't try too hard. And a guy who focuses on the most important part of a relationship, which is the sexual romantic angle, right? Most of romance is actually sex. We trick ourselves because of, I don't know, whatever, our upbringing, Disney, social media, that romance is big gestures. No, romance is walking up and kissing your girlfriend or wife, you know, uh, seductively on the neck and then grabbing her ass and then, you know, pulling down her pants, bending her over and bra dogging her in the kitchen, you know, or picking her up and putting her on the counter and fucking her, um, or, you know, sending her a dirty text or, you know, seducing her, right? Not just forgetting that she's a woman just because you've been together for three to six months you know you get lazy after the romance uh, the honeymoon period right now i'm not saying every day you have to play like bdsm dom romance games and take it super seriously right it's, not every day is super seductive but every once in a while you remember that you're a man and she's a girl and you need to romance her and not just take it for granted okay and the men who make women go crazy for them the men who only need to give her flowers and uh, good dick on Valentine's Day, that's the men that they actually fall in love with, okay? Um, and then we can also look at the romance novels, right? What What is it about the romance novels that women actually love? The, the billionaire, the surgeon, the pirate, the uh, vampire, the werewolf, whatever, you know, is that's not the actual important part. That just makes it kind of fun. That makes it seem like an ideal world, right? Or, or you know, a fantasy world where she, her imagination can run wild. The important part usually is, what's the thing? It's the wild 
usually guy who's a player and has a lot of girls and a lot of options, but then he finds her special and he chases after her aggressively and sexually, right? And then after time, eventually she earns monogamy from him, okay? But unfortunately with those romance novels, we never see what happens after Happily Ever After. Does the man continue to keep her interest or does she get bored because, you know, he, he doesn't have that personality anymore and he gets way too tamed, right? He spends too much time trying to romance her and be in love with her, right? It's that perfect balance, okay? So, um, Again, if you don't have any success with women, you have to look at what actually works because whatever you're doing is not working. Whatever you think is supposed to work is also not working because if you knew what really worked, you would just do it on instinct, right? You just have ideas of what should work or what you want to work. And lastly, um, I think I kind of hint on it, hint, hinted at it before, guys who make a big deal about things like Valentine's Day or fall for the trap of women make it so important, so obviously it's really important. The fact that you're making one day way too important demonstrates that you don't understand what is truly important to a woman, okay? If you're just going all out on one day, it shows that you really don't actually care. You're just doing this um, out of obligation, out of custom, which is not bad. I mean, it's, or it's not... It's not horrible. I mean, at least you're doing something nice, right? But you're only doing it under obligation and there isn't actually a lot of love and lust behind it, okay? Because if there was, you would treat every week like Valentine's week, right? Not every day, because that'd be too much, right? But take your girl out for a nice dinner, you know, once a month, right? Not too much, right? Because then if you do too much, then you're just like, it's too much, right? You need to have your own life going on. Women don't want a, a puppy dog, okay? There's always a balance, right? And that balance can can differ between, you know, certain guys. Like, one guy could definitely pull off being a bit more romantic, a bit more active, because that's just kind of how his personality works. And another guy who's really not like that, he can get away with it more often, because when he does do it, it means a lot more, because he doesn't do it a lot, okay? So, you need to examine your personality and your disposition you know are you a more romantic showy guy are you not and you know you need to do romance to the degree that fits your personality but at the end of the day most of what we're calling romance you know is not the chocolates and flowers and, and diamond earrings okay it's just good sex and good sex, you should be giving to her, you know, pretty regularly, a couple times a week, okay? And, and, and fuck her with passion and fuck her with hunger, you know, and show her that you are, you know, you, you lust for her, okay? That's the greatest romance that you can give a woman, okay? So the chocolates, the flowers, those are nice, right? Like I said, just get her flowers, you know, on normal, don't take her to like a fancy dinner, right? In fact, if you go too all out, it might have the negative effect. She might be like, wow, that was amazing, but then where's that the rest of the year? You know, and it's gonna set too high of a bar. And also, deep down, she's gonna know that it's just a mask for genuine affection. When you're giving a woman genuine affection and romance, meaning most of the time just lust and like treating her nicely and complimenting her and slapping her on the ass and reminding her that you love her, right? And good sex. You're, the fact that you're compensating with all this extra superficial bullshit She's going to feel deep down that there's a lack of that real genuine romance, which is for the most part just lust, right? So the answer is actually super simple and you've been missing it all along because, well, most people on this earth are idiots and women don't actually know what they want, right? They, they, they know what they want, but they don't consciously understand it because they get lost in their own delusions of romance, okay? Um, so you don't need to l listen to what women say. You need to watch what they actually react to. But you have to have wisdom when you do it. Because if you look too fast and judge too quickly, then you're going to have the stupid... There's there's two stupidities, right? The uber-romantic simp, right? And then the cold asshole who thinks women just want assholes. Like, he's an idiot, right? He doesn't actually pay attention to the thing that makes the woman want him. They pay attention to the whole picture and miss the actual... Um, the 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 foundation of the calculus of what actually creates the attraction to her. So, anyways, over explained. Um, but you get the fucking point. Probably was too late to give you this because you know it's already you know mid afternoon. So for next Valentine's Day, okay. And up until then, just fuck your girl good. Be sweet. Be kind. 
right? Don't take any shit either and have boundaries, right? But just be a nice guy and fuck her a lot. And I guarantee you won't need to go out for Valentine's Day because she's going to be in love with you. So, yeah, secret to Valentine's Day. All right, see you guys. Hector Castillo, bye.